Hey guys and girls, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the BL Touch to generate a mesh for bed leveling and store that to the EEPROM which will mean that you don't have to level your bed using BL Touch every single time you want to print. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay guys and girls, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send a uh, G28 code to the printer to get it to home. So G28 and we'll send that. And what that does is just centers the um, the nozzle and does the initial two probes. Okay. I'm then gonna just manually on the LCD. I'm gonna preheat PLA. So go to prepare, and then I want preheat PLA. Okay, and that's going to heat the, the nozzle and the bed, so it will heat the um, nozzle to 200 and the bed to 60. And I'm going to leave that for five minutes, um, and then we'll come back and uh, do the next step. Okay, so we can now see that we are at temperature 200 on the nozzle and 60 on the bed so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send another G28 just to home again the reason we're heating the nozzle on the bed is just because everything might expand and change slightly and we want um, an accurate uh, we want to generate an accurate, accurate leveled mesh so we'll let that home and then what we're going to do is we're going to send the G29 code to uh, get the BL Touch to do the 3x3 grid and generate the mesh. Okay, so I'm going to send a G29. And this will do the 3x3 um, uh, level I had quite a bit of issues installing the uh, BL Touch so I got the BL Touch kit off of Amazon and um, the main issue with it was uh, that I couldn't get it configured with Marlin uh, 1.9 uh, because part of that some of the code that I was expecting to be there just wasn't there and I haven't actually had time to sort that out yet so I am running this off TH3D, so this is uh, using TH3D firmware. Um, the firmware is alright. Gets the job done. Okay, so we can see that's going to do the 3x3 three three grid. We'll just leave that running. That's generating the leveled mesh data. So I'm using one of the uh, the new silent boards. The, it's a Creality. It's um, using the 2208 drivers. It makes a big difference, and of course removes the need for the uh, the dampeners. It's super easy to install. Literally just unplug what's there and plug it in. Um, I would recommend flashing the firmware either to Marlin. Uh, 1.9 or TH3D. I know some people are using, uh, is it Cheetah? Something like that. 
but um, to be honest I'm sticking with what I know if it isn't broke I'm not gonna use something like that at the moment okay so that's generated the mesh data so we need to store that to the EEPROM so to do that we're gonna send um, G code 500 Uh, so that is M500, M for Mike, 500, and we hit that, and that's saved that mesh to the EEPROM. So we don't need to do, we don't need to worry about that again. Um, so there's one more change we need to make within our actual machine start code. So uh, if we go up to, where are we? is in the plot today. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, go to manage printers and you find your Creality N3. Go to machine settings. Okay, let's just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so you've got your machine settings. Um, and then what you want to do is in your start G code, we're going to add something to that. So if you're using the BL Touch, you'll have after your G28 home all axes you'd have your G29 to start the probe well you don't need that so what you'll put in here is uh, slightly different and what you're going to put in here is an M420 S1 so that's M for Mike uh, 420 space Sierra 1 okay and <clears throat> what that does is it recalls the mesh from the EEPROM um, and that's it done so then you can go and slice your model and uh, print away and it won't do the probe and I'll show you that now let's just grab a model um, I should have something let's see what we've got so let's just grab um, a Game of Thrones wolf head okay and we'll just slice that up okay and then we can print to USB okay so that will heat up and that will print and it won't do the it won't do the um, the probe because it's already probed it it's already stored to the EEPROM now if you do get an issue and it does become unlevel or anything like that all you have to do is just run this process again resave it to the EEPROM and you will be good to go bear in mind however that if you flash your firmware or you reset your EEPROM you are going to lose that stored mesh so you will need to run this process again you'll need to do the G28 you'll need to heat the uh, hot end in the bed you'll need to run G28 again and then run the G29 to generate a new mesh and then the M500 to store it um, store it to the I've got a little bit of runoff there to the uh, to the EEPROM okay so just bear that in mind and we'll see what we get with this So that looks fine to me. I've been playing about with my um, Z offset a little bit just to get it a little bit better. And obviously, I've still got some glue on my bed. Um, I had quite a difficult print. It was uh, part of a sword, um, which was a little bit tricky. So I reverted back to the old glue rather than the uh, isopropyl alcohol. I know there are people out there who say, "Oh, I don't use anything in my beds," and that's fine. That's you know, good, good for you, is what I say. But um, sometimes you you need to revert to these methods, and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's just busy printing away. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope um, if like me, you don't like running the probe every single time. It's useful. Remember, it's TH3D firmware. Uh, not Marlin. Let me know if it works on Marlin. I'll, I'll probably do it on my other printer um, at school. So at my school printer, I've got a BL Touch um, come in to put onto that um, just to help make it a bit easier for the kids because uh, they don't like bed leveling. 
Uh, I still think it's quicker to man manually level it, but there we go. Um, what have you been printing during isolation? Please comment below. I've been doing quite a lot of the face shields. Um, I've got a little video coming up on that just to tell you how you can get involved if you want to get involved. Um, but yeah, let me know below. Please like and subscribe. Comment below.